It was two years ago, September 8th, coming up on the anniversary. First day of school, uh, four of my children had gone off to school that morning. I was getting ready to run an errand, and then instant crushing pain in my neck and over my head. I then lost sensation in my hands and feet, and the, the light was so intense. I was holding my head hunched over and feeling very weak feeling that I was drifting out, but trying to stay with it and trying to be lucid. I knew I was in rough shape, but then very quickly, almost a sense of thinking, I I'm dying. Um, they had me on the cart and put me in the ambulance, and I asked him, am I having a stroke? And he, my memory says, he said, we're not sure. Debbie Leary was indeed having a stroke. Strokes occur when the blood supply to part of the brain is interrupted. People are starting to call strokes brain attacks because just like heart attacks, brain attacks can be killers. Every year, strokes kill 160,000 Americans, but there is hope. This year alone, more than 750,000 Americans will have a brain attack, making stroke the nation's third leading killer and a major cause of disability. Do a quick neurological exam just to see how you're doing right now. Imagine that this hose is a blood vessel in your brain and the water is the blood flowing just the way it ought to. Okay, now I'm really gonna mess things up. I'm gonna cause a stroke a brain attack. Let's pretend that this is a blood clot and I'm going to put it into a blood vessel in the brain. Okay, let's see what happens. No blood flow. The clot plugged it up and starved for blood, the brain cells nourished by this blood vessel, they will start to die. A clot can form anywhere in the circulatory system. Sometimes one travels through the bloodstream and lodges in the brain. When a blood vessel becomes blocked, an area of the brain is deprived of the oxygen and sugar the blood supplies, and brain cells start to die.